from the high to the low, this was the first retracement. Then from the high to the low, we only retraced to here and we found selling earlier than we did over here. So this, this move up after the stronger leg down was weaker than it was over here. And that's why I thought we, we should get another kind of leg down into this area. Now, what's interesting about this leg down is, Roman, now we're coming down with volume here. Mm -hmm. And already we're having higher volume than we did yes. in this area, yes. which is unusual, right? Like mm -hmm. it, it doesn't make sense for me logically for the market to find great buying in this area. Does that make sense? Here I see I see supply, as we can see, but then we just see that the supply dissipates. I don't really see great buying. All the great buying emerges in this environment. So the fact that we come in here, we've came, we've come into this area. Do I see an urgency of buying? Would I expect to see another leg up? Ooh, I expect to get a rally. But again, as we've done, sorry, if you can clean up the chart here, Roman. As we've done perfectly right from over here. Well, let me fucking draw this straight. And then right from here. Every reaction down, so we've broken down axis resistance, so the axis resistance, axis resistance. We've broken down beautifully axis resistance. So logically, the first place that I'd expect this rally to fail, if everything is still to the downside, is here, right? So we're kind of in this vicinity right now. So I would not expect to find a great deal of active buying participants in this area because I don't really see them previously. It's rather a story of supply exhausting. I like all of those thoughts, William. So as a continuation thought here, you know, mm -hmm. I started thinking, are we then in this environment down, then let's say accumulation plus uptrend, so bullish environment, and then are we confirming that we are in the down environment right now? <music>